And now to a breaking news update. We're digging into an independent investigation over the handling of Kyle Beach's sex assault accusation against a former Blackhawks coach. Our Jackie Kostek takes us inside the findings. The 20 page report put together by an outside law firm clears the Players Association of any individual wrongdoing and finds Beach's warnings about former video coach Brad Aldrich were not addressed due to, quote, miscommunication and misunderstanding. The firm interviewed 11 people and reviewed more than 20,000 emails and phone calls that took place more than 10 years ago. At the center of questions around wrongdoing was union executive director Don Fear, who Kyle Beach publicly called out last October after the initial investigation into the Blackhawks dropped. He's supposed to have the players backs and they definitely didn't have mine. The report highlights several times where Fear said he could not recall being warned about Aldrich, including at least once from a player agent who said he told Fear Aldrich was a quote pedophile or quote sexual predator. The firm says neither Kyle Beach nor the co-accuser, referred to as Black Ace One, participated, which they say hampered the investigation. While Beach has not publicly reacted to the report's findings, he made it clear in October that he believes fear should be held accountable. I know I reported every single detail to an individual at the NHLPA who I was put in contact with after, I believe, two different people talked to Don Fear, and for him to turn his back on the players when his one job is to protect the players at all costs. I don't know how that can be your leader. So where does everything go from here? Well, the law firm that put together the report also includes recommendations for new processes and resources the players union should consider implementing to make sure this kind of miscommunication and misunderstanding never happens again. In the newsroom, Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jackie.